Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to downtown Chiang Mai. The place is called Kui Tiao Rua, which is a style of noodles, boat noodles. Have you ever heard of that? This is a very popular style of Thai food. A great thing to have, whether it's a street cart or a restaurant like this. So this place actually is very busy in the middle of the day. But to keep the sound environment nice for all of us, we are here in the late afternoon. So thank you again to my friend Guy for recommending this. I like the look of the cement walls. I like the look of all the noodle options they have for sure. We got the full beef special. I also got some squid. And then one more. We got a side. Oh yeah, the pork intestines. They just look so good. So this is just a great example of some Thailand street food. Not specifically Chiang Mai because boat noodles are a hit all over Thailand, but. This is just some quality Thai noodle action coming for you straight from Chiang Mai tonight. Okay. เซนนะเนาะไม่มีมะลิมั้ยโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโ
So the scissors are to cut this, because they serve it as a whole squid. When I saw that on the menu, it just looks so cool, right? <laughs> now that I see the setup of this, this is totally unnecessary, but like I said, it's just so cool that the serving, they just suckered me into that menu choice. So it is a meaty side plate that you have to go with this. Are you happy? Is this like your dream? <laughs> this, is, this is like your dream serving situation. <laughs> and do I need to order another one? Because you're going to eat the whole thing? Can, I ask if Can we ask actually if they do serve that separately? Well, we will see it later. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for choosing to spend some time with us this late afternoon. It is going to be a delicious hangout. I can guarantee it. The smells, just incredible. The look, the display. I am in love with this place already. Olan has like a big name already. The name of the shop is Quitia Rue Olan. Olan is like something big and yeah, spectacular serving of these noodles. Okay, so this five noodle sampler right here, they give you one of each of the main types of like street noodles. So, sen yai, sen lek, another one, bami leung, a personal favorite because they're just so rich, made with eggs. And then you have the wun sen, made with mung beans. And then finally, mi kao, the white thin noodles, the angel hair noodles. All four of those remain. I took the sen yai. This is my favorite one. We're going for this one first. So when I add the soup broth, it should free up the noodles a little bit. It'll maybe also because it's so hot. Wow, that's so, oh, it smells incredible. And I know this is going to heat up very quickly. So let me put it down over here. Wah. Okay, on the side, got some pork intestines, which have a cute name, by the way. Sai Tun Jakapat. I've had many students named Jakapat over the years. It's kind of like a bold Thai name. But yeah, these are pork intestines right there. Okay, and then also just on the side, they gave us some cap mu. I'm gonna put those on there, but those can get soggy quick. And then, this is also cooked already. Lee, what do you think? Into the pot? It's cooked already. Okay, so let's just taste that straight away then with uh, deep fried garlic on top. Hmm. Woo, yep. There we go. They're starting to get free a little bit. Wow, that pork is so good. Love that deep fried garlic. I can't do this. I gotta get closer, guys. <laughs> Crispy, crackly first. Mm. Oh. I love how they do that northern style. The pork belly, so thin. Goes so great with noodles. Senyai. They are my favorite for a reason. They're like gummy. I love the texture of these. Sen is a noodle. Yai is big, so big noodles. But these are rice noodles. Love this. Whew. <laughs> when I order noodles in Thailand, I always go for sen yai. Mmm. A big soup stock, but she has seasoned it already. She's put chilies, she's put black pepper in there, and she. She's put something sour, probably some black vinegar. Wow. Okay, I'm going for the fish meatball. Mmm. Pork meatball, sorry. It is a complete dish by itself. So wonderful to know that there are four more just like it. That is so good. Wow, wow, that really is amazing. And the sai, sai means intestine. Tun is something that's been braised or slow cooked, so it is so soft, you better believe it. Mm -mm. And you don't actually need to cook them, they're, they're steamed already. They've been cleaned as well. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. I don't want to put it down until it's done. Oh yeah, one more thing. The crunch of the morning glory is very nice. They've chopped a bunch of morning glory into the into the soup stock. 
Mm. 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 Okay, guys, next up, get some of that beef. So it is raw. Yes, I'm using the same chopsticks, but it's also beef. So I am gonna keep it in so it doesn't get lost. It's very thinly cut, so I think that's probably about good. So we're going back to the bowl. Sorry, the, the cooker is in the way. Oh, I grabbed like three different pieces, but they kind of cooked together. You can see they took on some of the color of that broth too. Mmm. The pork is good, but it does not compare to the beef. Just enough fat on each piece too. The beef costs a little bit more, but it is so worth it. You gotta go for the beef. Oh, wow, that's so good. This thing really is so hot. Turning it off and on. The broth is so thick, so thick. Cooks down so fast, because this thing is crazy hot. I love my man. just to not leave this one hanging, because <laughs> I can easily see this is gonna get overlooked. If you do come here though, and you don't wanna take down the whole hot pot, I'm sure I can recommend this because they use that same delicious soup stock. And the serving of noodles they give you is huge too. Okay, but it is all about that squid. That's the reason that I ordered it. The scissors are for the, the squid. Ah, oh, it's easy. Squid's very soft. Let's get a section of squid. <laughs> yeah, I've never done this before. It's kind of fun to do it yourself, but they always do that for you. Definitely. Before I came to Thailand, I don't even know how many times I'd ever even eaten squid, let alone did I know that it would become my favorite seafood. So after trips to the south with Lee this year and last year, I found maybe my favorite of all Thai dishes which is yellow curry, by the way. I was always ordering it yellow curry with chicken or with pork. Yellow curry with squid is probably now my favorite Thai food. So I love squid. I love the bounce. I love the weirdness. I love that it's the whole animal. You eat the whole animal. And the tentacles are just so fun, right? So like we had the sen yai with that first bowl of boat noodles. This is sen lek yai lek. Can you guess what lek means? Most of the words are very simple, especially when it comes to Thai food. So sen lek, it just means small noodle. Sen yai, big noodle. It's also made of rice. It's also so wonderfully textured. This is Lee's favorite noodle. First one was mine, this one's Lee's favorite. <laughs> Mmm, it's so hot. Mmm, but again, the broth is a highlight for me. Peppery, sweet, garlicky, very porky. Oh, that is such a good bowl of noodles. And with that huge squid, only 70 baht. That is not very expensive. Can I do it? I'll put the fire to a normal level. That can be like my timer. See, can I do it? So I'm picking my second favorite kind of noodle, which is the bami. Bami luang, right here. <laughs> Got it. So bami, it's made with eggs, right in the recipe, made with eggs, that's why it's yellow. So let's see, to make a, prettier dish this time. The first time I was just so excited. Got ahead of myself. That's what I usually do. Eggs this time, boiled egg. And then some more of that side. On this side, cap move. And wherever they get this, 
and they've got a winning recipe. I, I don't expect that they make this in-house, but wherever they got this, it is incredible. So right here, and I'm waiting on the beef to fill that section right there. So right on cue, the broth is bubbling. Get some more beef, jump into the ladle. So get that bubbling, get that cooking. Some more morning glory, as much as I can scoop up. They gave us a re-up on the soup and broth, which was key. I'm so glad it wasn't water, it was more of that broth. Oh, it smells so good. Boat noodles are just, they're just so fun. It's one of the first Thai foods that I ever had because in Bangkok, where we lived, in Victory Monument, it was a very famous place for boat noodles. So actually, noodles all over Thailand was a new thing for me, but specifically boat noodles was one of my first ever Thai noodles, first ever Thai foods. It's so fun to make them yourself like this. Okay, one more scoop of that broth because it needs to be done. Oh wow, that is a meaty bowl of noodles right there. <laughs> Lee, okay, the rest is yours. But this one is mine. That beef first. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? In Hat Yai. Because in the south, the halal recipe is like the normal recipe, so we're having so many beef noodles. It's like a sweetness that comes into the broth that isn't really there with pork. Mm. This is so fun. <laughs> Lee, I think immediately I have a, finally I have a favorite noodle place in Chiang Mai. Up till now, I don't. I don't really say there was a clear winner, but this is so much fun. And man, the broth is so tasty. Mm. Mm. Oh, the egg noodles are so rich. Lee, we gotta take mom and dad here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like we didn't have enough stuff on the table already. They are so nice. They gave us some kanom tuai. Tuai is these little cups. Kanom just means sweet. So they're gonna be half half like that. It's so cute. So I'll just try it for you right now. That is coconut cream almost entirely. So kanom tuai is a traditional Thai sweet. It's not that sweet though, because it is cream. Under I think it's pandan is how they flavor this one or mung bean cake. Thai sweets actually is one area I don't know that much about, so let's, let's learn through the flavor instead of listening to me guess. Mm. And I think it's actually a mixture of the two. I think it is mung bean, some gelatin. Yeah, and it's barely sweet. It's sweet from the coconut cream. It's steamed. So it has kind of a uniform consistency, just very gentle, very delicate. Mm. And like most Thai, Thai sweets, it's quite heavy. It's very small, but if you eat a lot of those, yeah, you can get full. Mm. Cheers, thank you very much. Kanom Tuai, aloi, aloi. So where Lee and I met in the province called Maha Salakam, there was a place called Sot Sen. We went there, well, Lee went there every single day, but we, we went there together maybe two or three times a week. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, Lee went there every day though. But until this moment, we have not found a soup broth that could compare with Sot Sen in Maha Salakam until just now. She just said it. She said, this is the only one that can remind me of Sot Sen. Yeah, beside the chili. Besides, they don't have their spicy chili. That's true. They made a superb in-house chili blend. That's true, this. So Sotsen still is the ultimate. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this is pretty good though. <laughs> Look at the bowl she's got over there. This bowl is limit my ability. Limit my noodle. The, the bowl size limits your noodles. A noodle bowl can put whole water. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That view is so cool. Can I give you this bowl? And what are you gonna do? Just because eat directly this out of this? And this is I'm gonna eat all of this. Oh, yeah, sure. This is like a bigger mountain. Okay. I'm gonna, this is too small for me, right? <laughs> this is yours. Okay, thanks. <laughs> this is my bowl. <laughs> That's too small. I'm glad I'm glad you didn't put all of the veg in here. I'm gonna take more. <gasps> Lee, you would do that. She finally makes this whole bowl. I mean I get the benefit because I get she makes the tastiest bowls of noodles, but she finally makes up this bowl and then she says, This is just too small for me to even start. I gotta get a bigger bowl. So she takes my Squid bowl, because those are the kind of noodles that she likes. These are not her favorite noodles. So I'm trying the mung bean noodles, by the way. Mmm. Mmm. What did she say? Our soup is gonna be dry, catching mm. one more time. Mm. Because our beef are now cooking. Oh yeah. Mm. I will cook some beef for you. Thank you, man. Intestine is so tasty. They make a yeah. They make a good one. This is my favorite place in Chiang Mai from today. I mean, for the way they are strong. Yeah, yeah. Because another kind of show, I had another, another, the food, I had another favorite Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I'm so, oh, I'm not. Okay, I think you can put the camera to here because I'm gonna see you here, okay? That's too far, let's go. Yeah, that, that beef really is amazing, right? Love their broth, I love the fresh beef. Not stewed, the pork though is, is stewed, wow. Just one more to add to my Super Bowl. Super Bowl is right, oh my goodness. I have everything, square, Squid. All the veg and a lot of meat. Meat bowl. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, the beef. The beef is not like a budget of an everyday thing, but it is worth it. Gotta go for that beef platter. Wow. Yeah. I think it's 400 baht for the whole thing. And then this is 70. And then the extra noodles I ordered over there were also 70. This is like a New Year noodle. Only New Year can spend a budget of money. Oh, yeah. For a special meal. Finishing off the intestines. I love that order. I really ordered the the correct extra, but there are tons, I think there were 12 different side orders. All of them are meat. Mm. I just love the softness of those intestines. This one comes with it. That's a great side as well. Mm. You can hear that crunch. I don't need to describe that one for you. 
My I love. friend always make joke of me. Yeah. Like the 50 baht of the noodle. Uh, yeah. And so many things in this like, why every time I come have noodle with you, you always like have a, a huge bowl than mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We each pay 50 baht, but so yours. Yeah. Noodle overload, happiness to the extreme. What a place to come for lunch, for dinner. It is open from late in the morning, so you can come here for lunch, but it's gonna be packed. Like I said, the friend who recommended me this place, he said it is like standing room only if you come for lunch, so better to go for dinner. I've loved hanging out in this quiet street. I don't know why, it's almost like it's a secret holiday or something. The street is so much more quiet than I'm used to. This is a main road of Chiang Mai, so we really got a great time tonight. Man, what an evening. Lee has a new favorite noodle spot. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanna tell you. By the way, this is our last video in Thailand for quite a while. We are gonna go on a huge trip to China. We are visiting Lee's family. We're visiting her hometown and also many other towns all along the way. Have a great day. Thank you again for all your support. Thanks for cheering both of us on. Hope you are excited for our upcoming trip. We very much are looking forward to it. Good night, much love. See you soon. <laughs>